हेलो आरुष हेलो नवेद्या वाइटी students if i am audible please let me know by uh, putting a emoji or let me know in the chat box so that i know i am you know audible and my screen is visible and in the meantime we will also wait for your friends to join thank you so much for letting me know great and uh, can you please um, what can do is maybe you have joined uh, from your school right one system from a single school or respective school can you put in the chat box which school you are from so that i know which school have joined with jnv hi sanjay jnv aravalli okay Hi, Sayal. Sanjay, which chain we are you from? And Arush. Nivedha, can you put it in the chat box? Oh, great, Jain Kollam. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. We will wait for a few more minutes so that all the schools will join and their friends will join. And students, let me also ask you, like, are you joining from your school or are you joining, uh, I mean, like, from a single system or a group, what it is? Can you let me know? From whom? Okay. And uh, and students, is this your first session you are attending? Or did you also attend my uh, last session as well?
Okay, I guess we can start the session from 310. Let's wait for two more minutes. I'm just waiting for those who joined in the last session as well. Great, then um, we'll be starting our session. So, hello everyone. Hello, Arush. I can see few Jainis who have joined. Jaini Surat, Rajkot, Sanjay, Sayal. Hello, hello, good afternoon. So I'm not sure if we were in the last session or not. Uh, if you were in the last session, please let me know in the chat box because I remember giving our homework to all of those students who joined last session and want to get a follow-up of the same. And anyone from last session who also joined last session? Arush, we can remember you. Did anyone change your name or something? I can't recognize. Okay, no problem. So um, I will just tell you the instruction once again. So whenever I'm asking you something, right? So I want it to be two-way so that we maintain an effective uh, interaction. Please let me know in the chat box. You can type in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and tell me oh, what are the things or you can talk to me whenever I, I ask something, right? So anyone who want to, like Arush, I remember you were there. We, uh, do you want to brief me up about last session, what we did in the last session? Or anyone who was present? Yes, I'm waiting. Can you let me know in the chat box that uh, what we discussed in the previous session? I cannot see anyone responding. Okay, no problem. So in the last session, uh, we discussed about what is career guidance and what is the importance of career guidance, right? I'm not audible. You are audible. Huh? Yeah, okay, okay. So uh, Jamie, uh, Anand, I guess, right? Uh, can you please check your network once? So yes, as I was telling, in the last session, we discussed about what is career guidance and why it is important for you guys, right? Uh, as you all are in 11th now, going to uh, 11th, so you need to know uh, like what are the things you are going to do after 12th and what are the things available after your 12th, right? And how to prepare accordingly for your 11th and 12th so that you can easily achieve your goals or you can have a clear path when you come out of uh, uh, 12th, right? 
so that was a dis uh, discussion we did and we also talked on um, what are the um, streams available of it and right uh, science commerce and humanities and we also discussed about it uh, you know uh, combinations available in 11th that is pcmb pcm or pcmh or pcb right so we were discussing all about it and also we were discussing what is the importance of choosing three subject stream than four subject stream right uh, rupesh can you please confirm about my uh, voice and screen yeah the screen is visible and uh, your uh, voice is clear it's clear uh, sure right yeah it's sure sure okay uh, do anyone uh, else facing the same issue uh, arush or uh, uh, jain aravali sanjay am i audible students just type hi in the chat box or just reply yeah. yes a thumbs up anything anything works okay okay thank you uh who, like wherever i am not audible uh, can you please uh, leave the meeting and join again it might help okay great thank you so yes as i was telling we were also discussing the advantages of pcm right what are the things you can do if you are going to choose pcm right so we will be continuing the same today okay oh. okay so in the last session i asked students who joined to you know work on the exams which they can write after their 12th so i guess a few of them joined and few didn't no problem so do you know what are the exams you can write after your 12th if you know can you put it in the chat box don't google it if you know you can tell me in the chat box je okay then neat any other exams which uh, which is not so common but you know CET, okay, NDA, awesome, awesome, right, great. So, yeah. So today, what we will do? Or we will be starting the session with a small activity and very engaging activity. Okay, I'll be showing you some personality or some role models. Okay, you have to identify them, right? Okay. so these are engineers that i want you to identify not all of them if you can awesome any two or three if you can identify can you put it in the chat box kalpana chawla awesome ratan tata sir awesome then who else yes only two anyone else you are recognize others okay uh, can you tell me um, why they are famous for what kalpana chawla is famous for those who have answered right awesome then and what ratan tata sir is famous for why can't i see any responses company bus business what what company bus right tata company i agree right okay awesome awesome 
wonderful wonderful that you know few of them so yes we will see why they are famous and what engineering stream they chose okay starting with kalpana chawla as you all mentioned she was the first woman of indian origin right into the space and she has done yes okay no problem so she has done aeronautical engineering right and then we have sunita williams who has done so many or uh, numerous uh, uh, space flight records right and she has done physical science engineering then comes tessy thomas often referred as missile woman of india and she has done mechanical engineering and now can you recognize something similar in them or can you observe something similar in them similar uh, similar in all three of them can you tell me in the chat box what similar it can be anything don't think so much whatever you think of at the instant all are women all are engineering all are have done something in space right great great awesome sanjay thank you why thank you for uh, playing all three are indian uh sunita william is like um, american indian like both yeah, she is just a uh, indian descent okay great great so now as you all mentioned yes they are engineers have have worked in space uh, and similar field right so despite of all the things all the what uh, gender and everything they didn't see it as a, a burden or they didn't see it as a what i can say um, as a hindrance right say they work very hard and they achieve their dream and have also contributed to the society right so we have other uh, three who are ratan tata who is a former chairman of tata group and he he did his engineering in architecture and structural and structure and we have ritu karidal who is a renowned scientist in isro and often known as rocket woman who has done aerospace engineering and then we have sudha murthy ma'am who is a philanthropist uh, can anyone tell me what is what do you mean by or what is your idea about philanthropist what is philanthropist any idea if you don't know you can tell it no if you know you can tell me and go okay no problem if you don't know so philanthropists are those who give back to the society right so as uh, sharing skills or as donation or teaching right so sudha murthy ma'am is uh, a woman who always try to give back to society right as uh, doing teaching or as you know giving donations or by writing book which will help people on this right she is also an author as well and a chief person of infosys foundation okay and she has done her engineering in computer science so this with their leadership qualities and this with their uh, numerous uh, you know numerous contribution in their own uh, field have achieved the success so why i have taken this example because if they can do it you can do it as well okay it's not like you are a boy you can't do it or you are a girl you can't do it we have seen your own seniors uh, from different genies girls or boys are uh, taking mechanical engineering taking civil engineering and they are placed uh, in a very good company right that's what so with this we will, uh, I, i have to land to one question that what are the subjects you have learned so far in 10th or in 11th can i know in the chat box which are the subjects you learned and uh, maybe how many subjects did you uh, you know did you learn in your 9th 10th 5 6 also awesome. 
six subjects. I can't even study one, two subjects. Five. Awesome. And I guess maths is common among all, all of you, right? So with that, uh, I shall also ask this question. How many of you like maths? Like in the sense, like it so much. Like you like solving questions or problems or anything. Do you like maths? You might also say, ma'am, sometime I like maths. Whenever some easy problems arises, I can do it. But whenever it is like tough problems, I don't really like, like to solve tougher questions. Or my, you know, I don't have that. Like, <laughs> right. Okay, great. So, do you know what is the... Um, wow. uh, wait a second, I'll just check with the audio. Uh, Arun, if you are there, can you give me a confirmation on my uh, audio? Is it audible? Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Uh, you are audible for me. Okay. Uh, I even got response from Rajko that uh, not audible. Okay. Okay. Uh, if I'm not audible and if it is, I, I guess like if it is from your end, please uh, check your network or you can, you can also, you know, get uh, like uh, join back to the meeting by leaving once. It might help. Or uh, switching to aeroplane mode and coming back again to the network might also help. Yes. Okay, uh, we shall continue. I was asking about maths and few of you told, yes, I like it. Some of you told, I like it sometimes. <laughs> That's so relatable. Right. Okay, let me also uh, tell you what is the scope of mathematics. You might be thinking, ma'am, what, what can be scope of mathematics? We are not going to use it in some market. Like, um, if you are buying something, you won't apply formula like a, a square, b square. So then what is the scope, right? So, uh, it is broader than you think. Let me show you, like, or uh, let me explain you what is the scope. So, it has versatile skills. If you are going to study maths, then you will be having versatile skills, right? I'll take examples of my students, right? So whenever uh, we are solving some problems or any problems, right? Even you take like any uh, problems like in your real life or day-to-day -day life as well. So if you are doing math very regularly, you'll be having problem-solving skills, analytical skills, and critical thinking, right? So it has so much of uh, you know skills by studying while in biology the skills are more specialized right so uh, you can't apply all of the biology in real life but you can uh, apply math to real life right i'm not telling like uh, biology in the sense the uh, the skills you acquire from biology okay not the subject career opportunities I'll be talking about this as well, but here let me brief you about career opportunity. If you are going to choose maths, you will be having diverse career paths, okay? And then broader academics, right? So as it is a, uh, having strong foundation in various professions, you will be having broader academics and transferable knowledge, right? It is not like you are going to study maths in only your class. It, it can be adaptable to any subjects. You know, physics, in physics, we will be using so much of maths, right? It can be applicable in different subjects. It can be adaptable in uh, many, uh, you know, many, uh, what I can say, many stages, right? So, 
application i'll tell you even i am a i am a biology student right i used to be a biology teacher as well while doing certain lab things or certain experiments we also use maths right we also uh, need to put a graph right we also need to make measurements and formulas will be used right in chemistry also we use maths in physics also obviously we use maths so without maths there is no subject we will be using maths somewhere or other right so it is it is not like it is specific to one subject and then greater demand if you are a math student right you will be going to various kind of professions right you will be in high demand or i can say you will be in the priority in the list and then flexibility you might be thinking ma'am i am not going to take science in uh, 11th or 12th so what is the use of maths so maths is not only applicable in science right if you want to do finance if you want to do chartered accountant right if you want to do some other business administration some other management or something those skills which you acquire from studying maths will be applicable there as well okay so it has more flexibility that you can switch from i tell you if you are um, planning to go into commerce then also you can use maths right after your 12th you might think like no i'll be going to um, maybe commerce stream i want to study cs uh, company secretary or chartered accountant you can still apply maths maths is applicable like in most of the fields right that's why i have mentioned flexibility okay so with that um, can you tell me few of the professions a uh, few of the career paths which include maths which you can do after taking maths or to simplify it what are the career option career options available after you study maths can you put it in the chat box engineering very good then nda very good what is animation or uh, yes you can do uh, an uh, like a designing course yes it is a, a form of designing and then anything else okay you might be confined to uh, thing confined to think that uh, you know you or you might be having very less idea on what are the career option available after maths so yeah banking you can do any kind of engineering aeronautical uh, ast astronautical uh, aeronautical engineering okay right so here are the, a few career paths you can do after choosing maths one is engineering as you all know right and then comes finance as i told you, you can get a role in banking or investment or actual reasons which means risk management right so a uh, few of the companies also need uh, a team which does risk management right we call it as actual reasons and then then comes data science uh, data science and analytics wherein you can be a data analyst data scientist and other things and computer science statistics maths education you can be a teacher lecturer professor architecture right and then operational research operational research in the sense in uh, certain companies you have to take care of products to be formed right supply chain management where you have to take care from raw materials to product formation that is called uh, supply chain management so you can also get into operation research so these are only few or i can say top uh, career paths after you choose maths there are lot many okay okay so uh, now we will be seeing what are the best courses available if you are taking pcm pcb or pcmb as i told in the last session in your school you won't get three subjects you will be studying four subjects right four subjects in a sense three subjects one language with pcm you uh, you uh, your school might offer pcmh which is hindi or pcmc which is uh, computer science 
or any other things, right? So if you do PCM, which is Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics, you can get into BE or BTEC or you can get into PR. Okay. And then PF Tech, which is Bachelor of Fashion Technology. Then, uh, as you told, you can get into NTA, which is National Defense Academy. BCS or BCA. BCS is Bachelor of Computer Science or Bachelor of Computer Application. Then you can get the license of Commercial Pilot License. Okay. So, these are the things you can do if you take BCM. And also astronomy and astrophysics. Sorry, I didn't mention it. And if you are taking PCB, uh, often PCB is linked to also given with Hindi. PCBH, Physics, Chemistry, Biology and Hindi. Okay. So you can do BAMS. Which, uh, can you tell me what is BAMS in the chat box? Have you heard of it? What is BAMS? Anyone? Do you know? I can't see any responses. I'm waiting. I, I forgot actually. What is BAMS? If you don't know, that's no problem again. Okay? You just have to respond so that I know that you are with me in the session. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, if you don't know, BAMS means Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medi uh, Medicine and uh, Medicine, uh, Ayurvedic Medicine Science. Okay. Then, uh, BHMS, which is Homeopathy. Then we have BVS, which is Veterinary Science, Bachelor of Veterinary, veterinary Science, where we will be dealing with, uh, dealing with animals. Okay. And then comes BDS, which is Dental Science. Then comes B MBBS, which you all know. Then you can do Paramedical Courses. What are, who are paramedics? Paramedics are those who assist nurse or doctors. Okay. So paramedical course can be uh, like a uh, or nursing, right? And you can do uh, BSc in radiology or you can do anesth anesthesia studies, right? So these are paramedical courses which you can do. Then comes BMNT, which is Bachelor of Medical Laboratory Technologies. So if you do this course, you'll be able to uh, manage a lab, right? Uh, manage a lab in the sense you'll be involved in doing blood samples, dealing with blood samples, right? And analyzing, uh, you know, lab uh, lab devices, all these things, okay? Analyzing uh, samples with lab devices, all these things. And then comes BSc Home Science. Then you can take general BSc. Uh, BSc in the sense you will be offered botany, zoology, chemistry, microbiology, my, microbiology, and then biochemistry, biotechnology, all this, right? So these are the things you can do if you choose PCB, okay? Uh, by that, I mean all this subject requires physics, chemistry, biology to study, okay? Then comes PCMB. All these courses requires all four subjects. And courses are like biomedical engineering. What is biomedical engineering? Have you heard of ECG? Or MRI scanning, yes, ECG machines or MRI scanning or X-rays, right? So, what do biomedical engineers do? They will construct devices which will help doctors or which will help people, right? So, those are called as biomedical engineers. And then, Biostatistics. What is biostatistics? You all know that we have DNA, we have all the genetic material, or we have sequences, all these things, right? So, if you analyze a human or analyze an animal and store the data in the computer, that thing is called biostatistics. If you are using computer application to do studies in uh, animals, that is called biostatistics. Then comes BTEC in uh, agriculture. And BSc Biotechnology, 
what is biotechnology if you are using the animal to take out a or make a product from it that is called biotechnology okay and then comes bioinformatics biostatistics and bioinformatics are almost like similar in biostatistics what you will do you will analyze you will store the data in the computer right in bioinformatics you will create a tool to do that to do analyzing or to do to store the data all these things if you are creating a tool or if you are creating a what you can say portal that is called bioinformatics okay so once more i am mentioning if you have any doubt in any slide please let me know or if you want me to repeat some things you can let me know in the chat box okay great yeah uh, here yes see i didn't mention okay let's see now uh, what are the career trajectory after you select pcm okay you can do b b tech as i mentioned and you have so many options you might when i talk about engineering you you might only think of only civil engineering mechanical electrical no there are more than that right here are few options which i have mentioned there are many okay don't worry if you are not able to analyze or not able to grasp everything at once uh, inform your teachers and i can get you a print out of this print out of whatever slide or whichever slide you need okay and in bsc you can do all this and more okay you can do physics chemistry mathematics aviation applied math statistics nautical science actuary science finance etc and in uh, as i told you pcm if you take pcm you'll be having flexibility right or if you are taking uh, math you'll be having flexibility Flexib uh, flexibility i mean uh, these courses you can take which are hotel management retail management fashion technology or fashion merchandising and travel and tourism right banking all these things other courses include pca bba you can get a commercial pilot license you can get into nautical science or merchant navy training right you can do design in bds uh, uh, bds means bachelor of design or b planning accounting anything so these are only the best courses of, or i can say top courses which you can select where if you take pcm there are lot many okay so how to figure out that so what you can do is Uh, you have some idea okay you have, you have some idea that you have to become a pilot or you want to become a pilot but you don't know how to do it just tell your teacher about your uh, dream right they might guide you out okay okay what are the top choices after 12 pcm why i have mentioned top choices because these are the choices which was made from made by your alumni or made by your seniors okay core engineering career options are mechanical engineering chemical engineering civil and metallurgical engineering then comes futuristic career options data science and engineering ai ml which is artificial intelligence and machine learning which is like very trendy nowadays right then comes mechatronics it is not mechanical it is mechatronics which involves mechanical as well as electronics okay then comes bioengineering and robotics then we have job ready career options which are cs engineering ehc electrical and energy engineering in energy engineering you will be studying about re uh, renewable energy non renewable uh, non renewable energy all these things okay then comes few other career options which are like product design architecture mathematics statistics all these things okay with that we'll be now seeing what are the exams you can take okay till now we have discussed what are the options available once you take maths or once you take pcmb pcd pcm right we'll be seeing what are the exams you can write and if you have any question let me know in the chat box okay first comes je can anyone tell me the full form of je what is je arush 
or why the anyone what is ge you know why to write it or why do you write it but do you know the full form i guess you guys are sleeping by just uh, you know okay some of you are not sleeping okay j is joint entrance exam which is written if you want to get into engineering institutes right which are iits and nits iits are indian institute of institute of technologies and nits are national institute of technology okay then we have exams exam neat right neat is written for medical and dental courses then comes cet which you all know common entrance test which is written if you want to get into engineering right or if you want to get into medicine not medical field but medicine field like pharmacy nursing all these things and also management and then comes cuet think like uh, you want to study in central university then you can write cuet which is central university entrance test where you can get into uh ug is uh, sorry uh, yeah ug program which is undergraduate program in central universities okay then comes nata you might be thinking or you might say ma'am i am really interested in designing or art or these things or architecture right so you can write nata which is national aptitude test in uh, architecture okay then comes nda here you have to remember that nda requires mathematics okay some foundation in mathematics so only pcmb and pcm students can write it so nda is indian armed forces and uh, here after you give the exam you will be inter you will be having interviews or you will be having other exams called or other uh, physical exams right ssp all these things and uh, let me ask you some more questions on this how many times uh, you think you can write je do you know how many times you can write je can you write after when you reach 25 years of age can i write it can i write je or neat you have any idea okay so J happens twice a year. Okay, think like you didn't qualify the same year you uh, you know you were you were studying you are studying twelfth. Okay, so J says that or eligibility eligibility is after you study twelfth you can try J for three consecutive years. Think like you have uh, you know you have completed your twelfth in two thousand twenty four. You can try. Uh, exams in 2024 25 26 you can't write it in 27 okay so it will make uh, how many attempts six attempts you can give six attempts okay neat doesn't have any age restriction you, i even i can write neat okay cet also doesn't have any age restriction uh, you can write any number of time and even cut doesn't have any age uh, bar nata doesn't have nda has you can write nda between 16 to 18 years in between 16 to 18 years okay yes right 16.5 to 19.5 so nda has age bar uh, keep that in you know keep that noted okay let me also tell you few more exams you might ask me, ma'am, I want to get into BSc, but I want to get into top colleges. How you do? How how can you do it? You can get into ISA, which is Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. They conduct an exam called ISA Aptitude Test. Okay. So they will also, uh, if you qualify the exam, they will offer uh, integrated courses, which is BSc and MSc courses, which you can study for five years. Okay. And you can get into NICER as well. NICER is National Institute of Science Education Research. They conduct the exam called NEST. 
okay nicer uh, campus is only available or only present in bhuvaneswar which is in orissa okay i said we have i guess 7 to 8 but nicer we have only one. by this you can study bsc and msc together which is integrated and you can continue your research also there itself okay then comes nift and nid if you are crazy about or you love fashion designing or you love uh, design interior designing you know how they make uh, designs in homes and all inside the house right or uh, you might have uh, observed fountains or um, club designing club in the sense you know city clubs or buildings or government uh, buildings all these things if you like urban design which is called urban designing you can get into nid which is national institute of design or you can also get into nift which is national institute of fashion technology they offer lot many uh, courses which can choose from animation film making fashion designing or bachelor in designing okay so many courses okay but you have to qualify for nift and nid uh, the exams it will be like Premil, uh, they will be having prelims and also final exams. The syllabus will be very simple. Mm, you can go through it also in the internet. They will be asking general knowledge and they will be asking about drawing, you know, draw to draw something and all, right? Uh, and logic, uh, logical thinking and analytical thinking, some critical thinking question, all these things. Then comes that. You might ask, ma'am, uh, or you might uh, have a concern that I want to go to abroad, but I don't know what to do, right? So, if you want to go to abroad, there are few set of exam which you have to give to prove your or to what you can say for to test your English proficiency, right? You have to give some English test. With that, you have to take SAT. SAT SAT is scholarship uh, assessment test where if you write it and get qualified, you can get into many countries. SAT is accepted by 85 countries. Okay. With SAT, you have to clear language test as well. Okay. And uh, it is not in only United States. It is uh, accepted, by, uh, accepted by 84, 85 more countries. And the syllabus is like uh, normal syllabus. It is not like very, uh, I want to say subject oriented or something it is uh, simple and you can get so many sample papers and uh, let me also add sat happens seven times a year okay seven times a year you have to keep a track of it you have to prepare by uh, taking the syllabus and taking the sample papers everything is freely available in google internet okay you have to take it and if you want to get it into specific university they will be having their own test or their entrance exam, you have to do that as well. Okay. Then comes LSAT. If you want to get into law, law schools, right? You can write CLAT also. You can write LSAT also. So CLAT is Common Law Entrance Test or Assessment Test. LSAT is Law School Admission Test. Okay. So um, one is like uh, LSAT will be almost like. Oh, logical things the syllabus will be logical like critical thinking or general knowledge day to day what you can say the um, things happening day in day to day life like political science all these things right but CLAT is more like uh, legal things right they'll be asking about articles clause all these things okay so these are the exams which you can write to get into law schools and uh, top law school is NLU right National Law University you can get into that university if you score really good marks and then comes CS and CA CS is company secretary and CA is chartered accountant okay you have any like have you heard of them have you heard of any person who, are, who is a CA or have you heard of a CA course you know what they what they do? I'm sure you have heard of CA, right? Chartered accountant. You know what they do? What is the work a chartered accountant do? 
ओके वाइट थैंक यू फॉर रिस्पॉन्डिंग एनी वन एल्स ओके सो वॉट डू चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट डू थिंक लाइक यू हैव अ कंपनी ओके और यू आर अ सी ए यू आर अ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट आई हैव अ बिग कंपनी राइट आई कॉन्टेक्ट यू टू गेट सम फाइनेंशियल एडवाइस राइट हाउ टू मैनेज माई फाइनेंस हाउ टू मैनेज माई फंड कंपनी फंड नॉट माई फंड राइट एंड हाउ टू डू टैक्सेशन यू विल बी हेल्पिंग दम टू डू टैक्सेशन और ऑडिटिंग राइट यू विल बी गिविंग दम इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज फाइनेंशियल आइडियाज राइट इफ यू आर अ सी ए यूल बी डूइंग दैट If you are a CS, which is company secretary, you will be like legally, uh, you know, legally handling the company, like telling them the policies. What are the policies they have to, uh, you know, they have to keep it in mind, and what are the things they have, they should avoid. What are the things they have to do, all these things, right? So, both CA and CS can be done right after your twelfth. Okay, CS is having almost like seven papers to write. it is like subject papers in the sense subject okay it will be having three modes one is like foundation intermediate finals and in ca as well you have to do foundation uh, intermediate and uh, finals ca will be having uh, more papers like uh, 7 7 plus 4 okay uh, no 8 8 plus 4 okay so you will be having more uh, uh, subjects to write subjects uh, as in let me give you idea as well it is like commerce based subjects more of like uh, about gst about funds right uh, more like uh, like related to like finance all these things so they will be having their own syllabus if you really want to be a ca or cs you can get a syllabus in internet and some of the students also get coached for it uh, go to coaching classes and all but you can do it on your own can study yourself as well i have many friends who are ca and have self studied for that okay yes so these are these are the few exams you can write write it after your 12 okay okay with that we land on our one more uh, frequently asked question when we talk about career guidance to any students right so today we will be dealing with one question which is can i do this i am scared you might be having this doubt in yourself right so in 9th you are like you were very chill you are studying well everything in 10th you were having little bit of uh, pressure from teachers and uh, family as well right so in 11th you might be thinking i don't know what to do i am really scared i don't know what to choose right so let me tell you believe in yourself don't take opinion from some random people talk to your teacher talk to your mentors talk to any teacher available in school avanti teachers cbc teachers right don't ask seniors telling like um uh, brother can can i do mechanical engineering you are also mechanical engineer can i do this if he is not from a good college you might tell don't come it is not good don't study here don't uh, take this course right you might feel demotivated oh, oh my god i i like i was studying so hard for this stream and my senior suggested not to take it what should i do so don't do such mistake right so why i am telling this like everyone perspective is different okay so when you are taking suggestion from someone who is not in a top college who are, and who is not like maybe not good in studies or something they will always tell you not to take it right if you study well if you get a very good ranking in je or if you get a very good ranking in neat if you get into a top college if you have all the wonderful professors wonderful lab uh, wonderful experience all the things or uh, wonderful campus selection you might also recommend to your uh, juniors right you will uh, you might also tell your juniors it is awesome this college is awesome please come and join right so it differs from person to person so first of all believe in yourself ask your teachers when you are confused about what to choose don't don't ask any random seniors okay that one you can do and uh, if you are feeling demotivated it's okay to feel even i felt right you have to have determination you have to have dedication towards your path if you have not choose your path no problem if you don't know ma'am i don't know what to do i don't know what to become no problem it's okay it's okay 
to have such confusion at this stage but you can't have that confusion in 12th because in 12th you have to write so many exams and you have to prepare so well so what i'm telling is don't be scared and there are so many people to help you you just have to go and ask them okay just read it okay so yes with that we'll be ending our session and in the next session we'll be talking about details of engineering and medical stream details in the sense what are the fee structure in engineering colleges and what are the duration of courses right and what are the salary you can expect if you are graduating from certain colleges of engineering and medical right what are the top companies you can get into and we will also be talking about how to aim for well paying jobs okay starting from what are the seats available how much you have to score in cbsc how much you have to score in jee what are the seat matrix how many seats are available right and we will also be talking about backup plans you know uh, like you know, have observed in few of my students who will be very dedicated towards their goal but due to some uh, you know mistakes or some lack of preparation or something they will be uh, not getting into their dream stream or dream job or something dream courses right so what happens then they will be so disturbed or so demotivated they will just sit quiet right so we will be telling you about backup plans in case if your things are not working whatever you planned it uh, in your mind you can have a similar plans which will help you achieve your goal okay we'll be talking about these three very crucial topics so so make sure to you know join the session on time next uh you know next week which is on 21st april okay we'll be meeting in the next session if you have any question regarding any streams let me know if i know i will let you know now itself or i can tell you in the next uh session if you have any doubt about exams you know some exams but you want to know more about it or if you want to do something which i have not mentioned here if you want some idea about it i can help you with that you have any questions can you tell me in the chat box if you have any questions are you sure you have any doubts about any exams which you want to write but i have not mentioned it or any courses you want to do but i have not mentioned it in anything like that you can ask me that i am doing this for you right i can see only one student reply what is wrong with all others you have any questions Uh, for the schools who have joined uh, in a projector, if any student have any doubt, either the coordinator or teacher or the uh, class representative can come and type the messages in the uh, chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask the question. So from there, we'll pick the question and we'll try to answer. Uh, probably it may be something silly or it may be a little bit tricky. If you know the answer, we'll get you know. Or if you don't know the answer, we'll definitely find the answer and we'll reach out to you through your coordinator. So don't hesitate to ask the question. Uh, that's it. Jain Viravadi, Nandit, Jain Vishwamogga. And there's one more Jain Viravadi, I can't see the name. Um, and all the other students. Yeah, so Jain Viravadi, Nandit, Jain Vishwamogga students have asked me about uh, SAT exam. can you specify your uh, question like what do you want to know sat exam is exam which you can write to get into any abroad courses if you want to study in abroad so uh, majorly uh, if you want to know the basics right sat is little bit different than your typical je or the neat exam uh, the reason because sat includes uh, two sections okay one is like majorly reading and writing section another one is math section reading and writing need uh, majorly just about like how much language skills you have 
and can you able to write an essay or like can you do paraphrasing all this kind of a thing and obviously maths is very important right um the exams in a total scale happens in like a point scale okay total score is around i think 1600 is the score uh, don't worry about like do i need to write 1600 marks no it's about the score how much you can get okay in the scale of 200 to 800 in a point scale okay more point better colleges uh, sat is widely considered all across us and it's also considered in some part of europe and uh, australia if you want to go for any foreign university, first, as ma'am mentioned, IELTS is mandatory. The second test will be either SAT and some other uh, nations have their own examinations also or some uh, institutions have their own examinations. Okay. But you have to start applying all these courses as soon as you complete the 11th. Then only uh, alignment with the Indian uh, education like timelines with the foreign education timeline will match. If you start applying in the 11th class, end of 11th class, then you can join the college after your 12th class. So if you want to go for foreign, uh, start thinking about which college it is, what is the mode of entry, what is the islet band required in the scale of 10. There are some, some colleges need above 7 point or above 6 point or something like that. Check what is the eyelids band required, what's the exam they need, and also try to check about what are the scholarship available because it will cost too much. That's why. And always remember, it's not about like you are going to foreign. Uh, even though you are going to foreign, try to look for a good college. Okay. Especially for medical students and a lot of time, you will get an offer. You give 1 lakh rupees, 2 lakh rupees, you can do your medical in Ukraine, Russia, or China and all. Uh, even though it looks good, but the value of the same degree, what you get it in, especially I'm talking about medical degree, what you get in Russia or Ukraine and all, not widely accepted in India. Okay, when you come back, it will become a little struggle. But for BTEC and all, you can actually go, but try to go for a European countries, which is better. And also you have a less education fee, something like Germany and all zero education fee. You have to take care of your living expense only or something like agriculture and all you can go to japan uh, us is good but uh, not so with good with respect to environment i think i hope covered something else if you have more questions you can actually send it to us we will try to reply to that thank you for the question yes uh, so uh, thank you so much and Someone has asked, tell me about aeronautical engineering. So aeronautical engineering, like you want to, uh, you want me to tell what is involved in that, if that is the case, maybe you will uh, like be involved in designing, uh, you know, designing and development of uh, aircraft, helicopters, missiles, and some drones, all these things. So yeah, uh, if you want to get into aeronautical engineering, you have to do JE. JE means and if you want to get into some IITs, uh, you have to write one more exam which is JE Advance. You have to qualify in JE means, then you have to write JE Advance as well. Okay. Any more questions? Just to add what Sanamam said, some of these courses, we call this a specific courses, even available in the private uh, colleges also. But what's the catch is private colleges uh, make you pay so much money, right? You can do the same courses in the top government colleges 10 times, probably 20 times, okay? So IIT and I, NIT, even though you have 1 lakh rupees fees per semester, all this will be uh, reimbursed through the scholarship. But same aeronautical engineering in a private college probably will cost you minimum 3 to 5 lakh rupees per year or per semester. So why ma'am is suggesting you to take IIT or the some good college, government colleges, we are not never men mentioning about private college because private college costs so much. Okay, that is the reason. Uh, I know it's a little bit hard for you to like study J mains and advance and all, but you have two years, right? Two and a half year almost. Uh, you can actually do it. Um, otherwise, you need to spend a lot of money. Yeah, like it's difficult for all of us, right? So that's the whole thing. So, 
other questions sir any more questions you can also mention like if you want any topics to be covered in the next session you can also let me know i can cover those uh, aspects as well you want to know about more about commerce or arts thing anything any exam or something if you want me to cover it in the next session you can put it in the chat box and we can discuss on it in the next session Oh, sorry, sir. So, yeah. Um, thank you for letting me know. So, uh, what I was telling is, like, during the session, you might not get any question or you might get fewer question. But when you go back to hostel or when you go back to, you know, being normal or something, so when you don't have classes and when you are recollecting all the things which I have told, you might get some uh, doubts or concern or some request or you want me to tell something. In that case, reach out to your uh, teacher. And let them know what you want or what are the doubts you have so that I can cover it in the next session. Okay, you can do that. No problem. Okay, then we'll be next, uh, you know, uh, meeting in the next session, which is on 21st. Okay, till then, take care, stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. Okay. And thank you everyone for joining. Make sure to join the next session as well, or else you will lose the uh, you know continuity. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. Bye bye.